From the Lender Sports Desk, here's Clayton Collier. Fresh as a chew of tweeting the question on everyone's mind. What if? What if the Tigers add one or both of these five-star recruits in the next few days? Now, a chew is expected to announce by Sunday. Trenton Watford will decide Monday. In the meantime, Tiger Nation has to wait it out. But don't worry. We can wait together. I'm here for you. And I got board games. I got apples to apples. I got cranium. Hey, I've even got Jenga, too. I had Jenga. In recent weeks, it was believed that Memphis fell out of the Watford sweepstakes, but the fact that he set his decision date after Achuas has led to speculation that his college choice could impact Watford's either um, Achua or Watford committing would likely catapult the Tigers to the number one recruiting class in the country, a spot currently held by John Calipari and Kentucky. As the city of Memphis basks in the afterglow, of the Grizzlies grabbing the second overall pick, their likely selection, John Morant, was asked how he would feel about coming to Memphis. Um, I really would be happy with any team that drafts me. Um, that means they see something in me. It's just an honor to be able to play this game at the highest level and just to be the, in the position that I'm in right now. Good news for Tigers football. The NCAA has granted Brady White an extra year of eligibility, meaning the Tigers will have two more seasons of Brady instead of one. White was at Arizona State from 2015 to 2017, but only played three games due to injuries and a redshirt season. If you don't know the name Austin Riley, maybe you should. The DeSoto Central alum made his major league debut for the Braves last night. You got to check it out. 2-1 pitch. Swing! Second at bat, first homer in the big leagues, and more than 40 friends and family that made the trip to Atlanta got to see it. Riley finished one for three last night. Fast forwarding to the second inning tonight. Man on for Riley this time. And would you be leave it? Deep drive to right center, but it's off the top of the wall. They call it a double. Braves immediately go for the review. And look just how barely by a thimble. It's under, and it goes for a double. He'll have to settle for that, but it, he'll get the RBI in the next frame. Riley with the shot up the middle scores Nick Marquez to make it 4 to nothing. Braves. Riley finished 3 of 4 with a couple of runs. Braves win this one 10 to 2. Hey, before we go, Center Hill senior Ken Lewis announced his commitment to Jackson State today. The six-foot point guard was first-team All-State and led the Mustangs to their first-ever 5A state championship. Good for him. The I love. I'm a graduate of Jackson State University. Got there my go. graduate degree from there, so good for him. There you Hope go. Hope the Jenga game is okay. Uh, no. <laughs> Took a beating over there. Hoping that Ken's it's is better than over there. It's a mess over there. It's a mess. Well, the rain returns soon. And that could be a little messy. Ed's up next with your final <laughs> forecast.